Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble... Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Every... Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He... But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for... That was before his brother... It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Y yes, Mother. I said be careful, child. <coughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mommy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. It, it won't leave for long. You're so pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 no. I I'm not. I'm fine. I, I already saw the doctor last week. Don't be silly, you must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mummy is, all right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, mother. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me.
Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. I'm the only vampire in the room for now, so please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Weed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. What do you know about the blood of Prewin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. 
Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well? Get rid of me, then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you, then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door.
We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. signs to interpret good evening Jonathan Reed can I help you in any way I should have seen it coming. I should have put a ban upon you. There was too much at stake. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor.
It's locked, all right. Hello again, Dr. Ree.
Yeah! 